So today I want to talk about creating uh, randomized drum patterns and building upon them to create like really complex uh, breakbeat style drums. So to get started, um, just find some drum loop. Doesn't really matter what kind of loop you get. That sounds pretty good. Um, preferably you want something that has like a bunch of different textures to create really interesting loops. So you want to drag that onto a new MIDI track. Um, set this to slice, gate and playback through. Um, you can also warp it um, using the texture warping mode to get really like nice grainy textures to it. Um, then we're gonna just create a single MIDI note, extend it over how many bars you want, like so. Then just go to your MIDI effects, give an arpeggiator and a random. Set the chance to 100 to get like different hit every um every eight note. Like so. You can also set the rate to like sixteen notes. And adjust the gate to get like more choppy. Or lose drum hits. Can set to like 70 for now. Then what you want to do is resample that to avoid getting to make sure you get the same loop every time. So now we have our basis to build a drum groove on. So now I'm gonna take some um, drum samples, kicks and snares. Um, for this type of loop, I'm gonna go with like really snappy short transients. That might be cool. Do something like this. Put a bit of compressor to it to accentuate the transients. Now you can use this randomized beat as a basis to your drum groove. So, kind of figure out where's the like general beat of it. Maybe something like this. Sounds pretty good. Then 
find equally short snare sample. Something like that might be cool. Again, you kind of want to listen to this randomized loop to hear where you should place your accents. So maybe something like that. Now you have this like really kind of complex um, drum loop where you have this like kind of really percussive element here, which is then like enforced by this kick and snare. And then the build up on that to make a full song. You can do something like this where you just have the kick and snare first. And bring in the percussion layer. So yeah, that's that. Um, Hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and um, hope this technique gives you lots of inspiration.